Hey guys, and welcome. My name is NG Paradox, and welcome back to the Cahor series. Uh, last time we left off, we were trying to make money through uh, the slavery. Um, this time again, I'm going to try and buy more slaves, probably, and try and just get more into the slavery market. We do need more money, so we can maybe try and find some other ways to expand. Obviously, we do have the strong claim on Mortis Meat, but because of that ally, I feel like this is maybe a difficult scenario to try and take it at the moment. Things could change in the future, but to wait and see. But maybe we could try and get these lands at least. Try and colonize these to, because right next to my lands we could expand into the Vroina. There's some really good castles here as well. So I think that'd be kind of really fun. Spread the black goat even further. But yeah, we need to get some more uh, slaves for that. Need to make more and more money because we don't get much money right now. Meet with the slaver. Let's see what he has. A new bed slave. Ooh, that'd be something a little bit different. We've not had a bed slave so far. We have this girl. She is a she has a calm voice. Or this girl, who also has a calm voice. Hmm. Now, this one isn't married, but this one seems to be married, so maybe he would not want to sell her. Let's go for this one. A wise choice. 75 gold. Are you kidding me? No way. I'm going to look for another one. I want a new advisor. No slaves to buy. Okay, so apparently there's no slaves at all. Um, I'll click it once more just in case. Meet with the slaver. A new advisor. And there's no slaves to buy here. So, okay, we'll just let time go by then. Try again in the future. But we definitely need more gold. We're not making much gold. To be particularly honest. But we do have 2,000 men. 2,000 men. And I'm still trying to get Xander to join our faction. Oh, thank God we're alive. Whew. That's always a close call. Actually, how is my daughter? I should probably have a quick look at her. Make sure she's okay. Maybe she's got pregnant again. And it looks as though Rainia Wildfire's defeated one of the uh, the sort of in the, the rebels at the moment she has. Oh, why is Xander in jail? Imprisoned by Magister or Dello? Huh. This could be good if he kills him. It does destroy my alliance to him. But it could be a good thing. Let's see what happens here. We could take the land away from him. Uh, obviously, Goatwood, his father died in the dungeons. So, I mean, it's not unprecedented. It's not unprecedented. Now, he has 1,100 men. This guy at the top has 790. So, everyone's pretty weak at the moment in the realm, apart from me. But still, the Magister is very powerful. 10,000 men. Not much we can do against that. Okay. Now we've got another battle going on with the dragons. There's dragon versus dragon. Tessarion versus Cyrax. The queen versus her other brother. Um, looks as though Cyrax eventually prevailed, killing Tessarion. <gasps> Tessarion, how did Cyrax do? So Cyrax, again, not even hurt by this. The queen is not scared at all. Look at that. She is not afraid of this battle. And Daron, he was actually maimed during this battle. There's a good chance then he'll die. This has forced his wife, Jahera, who is actually the, using her claim to jump onto her dragon, Morgul, for revenge. But her dragon's a bit too young. Her dragon's a bit too young. I can't see her coming out well in this battle. And there we go. Looks as though she's been defeated already. There we go. She's now taken out another enemy to her cause. No one can defeat her. But a lot of Targaryens are getting killed. And a lot of dragons are getting killed. Oh, look at that. She's been blinded. That did not go well for her. That did not go well for her. Um, never been assured of soldiers. Excellent. There's a new dragon. Mela the Noble Dragon. So, who are you? Okay, you're my daughter's husband's brother. And you've named the dragon Tagar. Okay, Tega. That, that's, that's an okay name, compared to some of the other names I see. Some of the other names just feel dumb, but that one's not too bad. Peasant revolts going on over there. I need to find out what happens to him, because that could affect what we do with Water's Melt. I could attack them if you kill him, probably. It probably would be okay to do it then. Now, I could also try and claim for these lands here as well. That may be a possibility. Now, obviously, I was also trying to I don't want you to help me with my titles. Now, this guy, I still want to take back his title so I can give it to the uh, castle person, but how long is the uh, 47? So we have three more years, and then we should be able, we should be able to 
t revoke his title. I don't think it will cause much of a, a fuss, because we only have one of a vassal, and that's my brother. My good old brother. I've got two sons. Then we can give... Hopefully, if we can take water smelt in the future, we can give it to my other brother, because his wife does have a claim. So we can give it to them. Though he only has a daughter right now. His wife is 32. They've still not been able to have any more kids. He wants to kill someone, apparently. Hmm, maybe it gives me reason to imprison him, actually. That is a point. We could just imprison him. He would not end his plot. Where's the imprison button? I can't imprison him. Why? Target is not in hiding. So apparently he's in hiding at the moment. So we have no idea where he is. We have to wait till he comes out of hiding. Then we could arrest him. I can take his titles off him. I mean, it's his own fault. He's trying to kill someone. We can't have this going on in my lands. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see, because obviously, like I said, um, he's in hiding, so there's not really much we can do about that. Has accepted her peace offer. Okay. So she's defeating even more rebels. He's still in that jail right now. And we have shame our men around here. Got a few more men at the moment. Not too bad. And there we go. The Tullys have been defeated. What will happen to the Tullys now? Will the Tullys lose the Riverlands? I'll have to wait and see. Looks like he was released. It looks like nothing happened. And I just saw him. He looked fine there. He still had his titles. Liege Loyalists. Damn you, Liege Loyalists. Depose him. Those are See? Xander. So Xander was released, I'm guessing. I think he's the same guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was released. So that means obviously he's fine. Damn it, I was hoping he would die in the dungeon or something. Looks like the Lannister got sent to the wall. Let's have a quick look at that. So, Lord Paramount Hugh Lannister. His father is a eunuch, apparently. Yep, and his grandfather, the former Lord of the Westerlands, was sent to the Night's Watch. And his wife died in the dungeons of the Queen. Sad, sad ending there for the Lannisters. Uh, Night Song was revoked. Okay. Let's go back to the slaves. And again, I want to go back to the slave I did so we'd look more into that. Um, again, a lot of other things she's dealing with. We did new Seneschal. Now, Jaehaerys would probably be the best choice for this. Yeah. So we'll choose him for now. That's fine. Bodyguard. I think we... Yeah, we have our brother for that. That's fine. You're still trying to get them. Yeah, so we can get them to join our faction still. You really need to get that fired at some point because this is getting ridiculous. It says for 30%, but it's no way near. Meet with the slaver. A new advisor. No slaves, apparently. Great. God damn it. Have my daughter. How's my daughter? Not pregnant right now, but she's only 19. She has, she has a long time to get pregnant. And her husband. Liberation revolt against Volantis. Huh. Okay, let's have a quick look at that then. So the liberation revolt apparently down here. Um, Lucerys Valerian just died of depression. Another one of Rhaenyra's sons dies. And that's all of Valerian children. But obviously the heir is Hagon Valerian, her grandson. Wow, very sad story. Look at all this. Look at all these deaths. Died from his maiming. All of her brothers and sisters are dead. Um, yeah, terrible. Most of her children are dead. You know, Aegon Waters, what a sad story. He probably was legitimate. As someone said in the comments, it doesn't make sense that Red Fort would be his father. The Red Fort affair probably happened way after she had that baby, but people believed it, sadly. Could you believe that? How would it feel to have people think you were a bastard, but you knew you were legitimate? That'd be horrible. The only one left, maybe, is Prince Viserys Stone, and apparently, no. He's a bastard as well. People know Viserys as well as a Red Fort, apparently. Everyone thinks all her children here are Red Forts. What about the last one? Rhaegal Waters as well. Jesus. She has just had a mess right there, hasn't she? So does that mean, yeah, if Hagon dies, she has no legitimate children. She has a granddaughter, I guess, but she's apparently barren. This is this is really bad, actually, for them. How many Targaryens are left? There's only eight. What the hell? Not only dragons have been killed in this scenario, but also Targaryens, apparently. A lot of them are getting killed, and we can't arrest him again. He's still in hiding. 
We've still got two more years till I can revoke that title. Buy a slave. I need slaves. A devious spy. Okay, he's not too bad. He apparently he's not for sale. I hate that. What's the point if they're not for sale? Why even show them to us? It should just not show. I guess it pops up as an event for the AI, so then you can then choose. But still. Oh, apparently I'm known as the Silent. Huh. Tenesio the Silent. Hmm, I guess that maybe suits him. My wife just has one more year, but she's in jail right now, so I'm not even sure if we'll be able to marry her. And then again, do I even want a child? Do I even want a son? Do I want my my daughter? Yes, yeah, she's pregnant. If she has a baby boy, maybe there's no point in me getting married. I would like for you, Jaharis, to have a dragon egg. That'd be really nice if you could just get a dragon egg. You know, just get your dragon, you know, ha you know hatch an egg. Not hatch an egg, uh, to, to give birth to an egg, I guess. Uh, he's a bit young, though, 18, but still. I'm not exactly sure how eggs work with dragons. Is it like a time-related thing? Do you have to be a certain age? I'm not exactly sure on the uh, the genetics and the, um, the, the baby-making of dragons, to be honest. A new bed slave would be maybe good. We haven't had that yet. She looks pretty good. She has a, a calm voice. Okay, not for sale again. There are no slaves. God damn. No one's selling any slaves. Buy slaves in my camp. We need a wealth of at least 400. That would probably be the best way to go. Maybe we should just wait till we're 400. Has inherited Lordship of the Whispers. King Daemon Targaryen has died a natural death. Sad, sad day. Eunuch. What happened to his dragon, though? And obviously Dark Sister he had. So she's now got Dark Sister back. Um, but yeah. Sad day there. Maybe she'd get remarried. She is 49 there, so maybe there's not much need for her to get married again. She can't have any more children, to be honest. Poor her. And sounds as though someone now, Alan Valerian, the charming seahorse. That's a nice name. And look at that marshal now. He's now riding a dragon. Melee's the Red Queen at 96 years old. That is an old dragon. That could be the oldest dragon around at the moment. He's done well for himself, the charming seahorse. Now if there's a claim on the Iron Throne. We should prepare winter is coming. Okay, winter is coming. If I have the High Lord of Valyria, we can claim for my daughter's husband. Uh, he has 4,000 men there, so maybe not. Um, that would probably not be a very good idea. And they'd have another daughter. Jacka. Jacka Teladoris. And you know what? I, I, I want a son, kind of. You know, maybe if he has Valerian looks, people might like that. As well as the fact it might be kind of... Yeah, I don't think we can actually marry her, yeah. We can't marry her right now. But we'll wait and see what happens to her. But yeah, and also, I'd like to get some natural traits, because when you think about it... Um, when you think about it, obviously, the Targaryens can get natural traits because they are running in their family, but I've not seen many recently. Normally, you see quite a few run through their family, but I, I wonder if that still happens if they marry to other members of the family. Maybe it only happens if they marry inbreeding, maybe, or something. I don't know. Um, Lord Lionel Young's War for the Reach. Okay, so Lionel the Young, Tyrell, obviously, he is the son of the former Paramount. He wants to try and take it back. From Lady Paramount Ellen Meadows, whose husband is a Norwich, apparently. Don't know much about that family. Looks like Edgarin the Bewitched died under suspicious circumstances. Hmm. And her heir is a Hastwick. Hmm. Things are going to go down in the Reach. I would not be surprised if the Tyrells take it back. To but we are making quite a bit of gold now. Not doing too bad on the gold front. By slave. Bed slave. I want a bed slave. Oh, that's the same bloody girl, isn't it? 15 gold. Done. We'll buy this slave. Excellent. Now let's sell the slave. <laughs> do it. Time to do business. Uh, 15 gold. Ridiculous. What a fairer price than that. Um, no, stop bothering me about this. Find someone else. We'll find someone else. Okay, looks as though not many people want to buy our slave. Yep, no one's willing to buy our bed slave. I thought she was a good buy. 
Maybe people are buying less slaves nowadays. It's been really hard to actually find slaves to buy. Damn it, not 15 gold. I'm not going to make even. I want more. 15 damn gold. Okay, we're going to give up then. I was going to keep her for now then. We'll keep her in my court. If I have to, I'll just sell her for 15 gold later. But apparently no one wants to buy her. Damn her. I guess we got maybe, maybe they've changed it. Maybe they've edited the files now. It's a bit harder. Maybe I don't know because it used to be really easy. And the first one we got really easy. Now this one's falling apart. This this Dothraki Carl apparently. Yeah, that's completely falling apart. Look at most of the lands have fallen apart over here, apart from in the east. The forefront of Pentoshi politics. Okay. Can we marry that girl yet? No, we still cannot marry her. She's basically been in jail this whole time. Now, I could just break the betrothal and just go and marry someone else. But like I say, I'm not even that bored about having kids because I would like my daughter to inherit and her Targaryen husband and those children to inherit, maybe. So I'm not too bothered about that. Now, 47. Dangerous faction at the moment. Overthrow me. <gasps> my own brother has joined this faction. Why, brother? Which one offers the most bonus? Plus 10. Make him court music. Court architect. Chief architect. A ah, court musician. Yeah, musician. He can be the court musician. Now, can I take away your stuff yet? I cannot do it just yet. No, still a few more months, I think. Let's just check the exact month. The 22nd of February. Okay. Now, they're not strong enough to defeat me anyway, so we're fine for now. Now, do you still have that alliance with this guy? Yeah, I think the lines are still going because he's still married to that girl, it looks like. She's the same one. So we can't attack him as long as he's allied to them. Now, my man has not been making us be more liked by him. He's not been doing a good job there. There's a 16% chance we're going to have really bad luck when it comes to the percentages at the moment. Um, yeah, definitely having a lot of bad luck on that front. But yeah, we'll let time go by continue. Okay, the plot. Again, we could take it from him. Now, I could just revoke his title, and he would say no, and he would declare war with 700 men. Pretty if you go down with minus 8, other vassals minus 20. I think we could spare that. Minus 20. He has one ally who is probably not going to make any difference to this. So I think we'll revoke that title from him, and so mainly so we can make it into a feudal thing. It's not an, I've really anything against this guy particularly. Well, I mean, he is trying to do a faction against me, and... Uh, Maybe my guy's not the most, he's not the most aggressive man, but the thing is, is that when you turn this into a feudal thing, always, they're always going to be against, if you ever have people who are a different um, type of government than you underneath you, they always have minuses against you, always. So we might as well just revoke this. There we go. He'll make an excuse. And there we go. And he will want to fight. There we go. But I will have too many men for him, hopefully. Now, does he have any money? He does have 147 money, but I have more money. We can call him our ally as well. Now, hopefully he joins. We can also call in uh, Water's Meat, even though I do plan to take their lands. Yeah, I've already... Didn't I already call Xander? Wasn't that the first one? Okay, maybe I forgot to click it or something. Or maybe it was someone else, actually. I just wasn't paying attention. Honor the obligation. Thank you very much. They'll get away on the 3rd of May. I got the 8th of May. Okay, so if we wait till the 3rd of May. Yeah, there's no point me just jumping in and just sacrificing men. Everyone's going to join us apart from one. Oh my god, okay. Where did these guys come from? Deep Forest. Where did you get 3,000 men from? What the hell's going on here? Ah, his Magister. The Magister actually joined the war, I guess? That is surprising. I did not think he'd be able to join the war. Okay, so they get here on the 7th of May. And our men escape on the 3rd. So that's fine. They'll escape, but these guys won't. So we'll delete them. Ooh, this has actually made it a little bit different now. We do have 800 men come to help, but that's not going to be enough. 500 men defend. How about if I get my own mercenaries? We'll have to spend some of our money here just to make sure we win. 225 is maybe too much, even though it's right next to it. 
200. Yeah, 1,500 men would probably be... That's not going to be enough, though. 3,600 men. We're going to need, then, if I have about 1,500, we'll move these men out the way. 1,800... 2,600. Okay, if we can get these men to join us, actually, we should have enough men to take them down. Get them the 3rd of May. We'll decrease this, move it up to them. He's going to keep going to Sea Grove. Uh, Sun Grove, sorry. Yeah, so we should we can still win this, but it's definitely going to be more difficult maybe than I suspected in the first place. We definitely need his men to come and help us. The 29th. Okay, now, this should be fine. If we can get 2,000 men, we probably need, really. Probably don't need 2,000 men. 1,500 is probably enough, but just to make sure we have these guys, if we don't get those guys to help us. But that's a lot of money I have to spend, and I don't want to spend loads of money, really. Because I don't, I don't want to spend loads of money, because we've just been trying to make all our money. The wind blown could be good, though. Five gold a month. We should be able to win in that time. Let's do it just to make sure we win, yeah. It's worth it. If we definitely win, it's worth it. The wind blown will come and help. That's about 3,500 men. Uh, how about you wait for these guys to get How long does it take you to get there? The 23rd of June. The 31st of July. Jesus. That's a long time. Still quicker to go this way, apparently. Are you kidding me? 23rd of June? That's crazy. Yeah, you might as well wait here for these guys to get there then. The 31st. There we go. These guys at the bottom are going to stay there. Now, I need to hope that you guys get them in time. Now, also, we can always just get more money from the Iron Bank or something. But is this not enough to spend this much money for this war? But it's kind of just for the future. If we do go for independence, which I do plan to do, we kind of do need that. Now, would they be able to get back here in time? That's the question. I guess, it, yeah, it's not that big a difference. And it's going down all the time. Riverlander, Riverrun, du jour War over Riverrun. Okay, so apparently it's a du jour War over the High Lords. So apparently they lost Riverrun. The Vances got it. Not sure how that happened. Maybe it's because they, maybe the Queen gave it to them. Still cannot marry them, apparently. Okay, there we go. Now, this is forest and forest. This is also forest. Yeah. So, we're just going to take their lands at the moment. If we take them on one-to-one, -one, we could probably win. But I don't want to attack a forest, maybe. I want him to attack us on the plains, and we'll probably be fine. He's going to stay down there. Has declared second war against the tyranny of the queen. So, the Tullys again. Even though they managed to get away with it last time, they decided to attack again. Jesus, what is wrong with you, Elmo? You're going to destroy your family's honor. Your son, Kermit the Perceptive Fish, might lose all his inheritance. I like that name, the Perceptive Fish. Hmm. Sounds, uh, sounds different. Okay. There we go. Died from severe maiming. Yeah, I just want to try and take this. I could just go on to the battle them, but I think we'll be fine if we just take his lands. Not too much for us to worry around here. 1,000 men defend that. Wow, like no one defends this church. Apparently people do not defend the Black Goats churches, apparently. Okay. Yeah, 1,200 men. That's quite a lot defending there, but we do have one of them. 89% right now. This should be pretty easy. I don't think we have to worry too much. And we're not losing too much money. And looks like the Tyrells, Lionel the Young, has taken back his rightful seat as Lord Paramount of the Reach. Good for him. And he decides to surrender under these terms. Okay, so he will surrender. Yeah, okay. Accept. Might as well just accept it then. Perfect. Now, he's now in my jail. I don't know why he just lets me revoke. I guess I can just revoke it now. His opinion will be lowered of me. I lose prestige. He's a traitor. Yep, so there we go. I take the city from him. So he's now lost his city. Now I have it, but I don't particularly want it because obviously uh, it just causes some problems for us. And I've gone completely over time, so I should probably stop recording here. Um, <laughs> this is the thing about this type of thing. I go way over time sometimes. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Good night.